Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. Those stories are coming up tonight, but we start with calls to stop tonight's controversial speaker at Brooklyn College. It's happening now in Flatbush. Professor Stephen Salida is under fire for posting numerous tweets that many describe as hate-filled. CBS 2's Weijia Zhang is live in Brooklyn with more. Weijia? Well, Dana, attempts to keep him off campus did not work. In fact, the event just started in a packed room of about 100 people. And you can see right behind me some Salida supporters. But his critics worry what he has to say could have serious consequences. And there's nothing for him to lecture about here in the heart of Brooklyn. And Brooklyn College, shame on you. New York Assemblyman Dove Hikend with harsh words for his alma mater, Brooklyn College. Public Speaker Stephen Salida is talking at the school tonight. A former Virginia Tech professor embroiled in controversy over his Twitter page. This is, as we say in my profession, a teaching moment. <laughs> Salida speaking in September when his tweets cost him a job at the University of Illinois. The Board of Trustees voted not to hire him because many deem his hundreds of anti-Israel posts anti-Semitic. In June, after three Israeli teens were kidnapped and later found murdered, he wrote, You may be too refined to say it, but I'm not. I wish all the expletive West Bank settlers would go missing. And Israel and ISIS are but two prongs of the same violent ethno-nationalism. You can criticize Israel. That is not the issue. But when you cross the line and your rhetoric, your words, your hate speech can lead to violence, then you've crossed the line. But the president of the Brooklyn College group that asked Salida to speak, Students for Justice in Palestine, defends the invitation, saying Heikend is confusing hate speech with free speech. Speaking on issues that are critical of Israel has been a struggle in this university. For us to silence him again tonight under similar pressure is sort of just a, a slap in the face. And discussion. Brooklyn College just released an official statement saying in part the college continues to reaffirm its commitment to foster a vibrant, inclusive and respectful academic community. We expect visitors to our campus to uphold the same principles. We're live in Midwood, Brooklyn tonight. Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Weijia.